it's a relationship. It, that that's what it is, and there's like you said, there's a lot of things that he sees that that he does well that matches our personnel. But there's a lot of things, in my opinion, just in my opinion, that don't match our personnel. You know, I think we have a lot of one one thing that is really just jumped off the screen every game is the amount of playmakers that we have. And when I say playmakers, I'm talking about, like, dynamic guys. Mm-hmm. Like, you get Amarion Brown in space, which hasn't been often, but the, those little quick flashes of when we do throw him a screen, this dude can take it 70. Marshawn Lynch, he can take it 70. Juice Wells, obviously, he's just – he's different. And then Jaheim Bell, like, we got four legit – guys who can turn a game upside down in one play what do you do with guys like that you know like i i feel like i feel like you 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 have to see the game from that perspective what can you do with ga- and it's not being maximized right now that's just my opinion again i'm not coaching i'm not an sec coach i hadn't put the hours in that coach satterfield has and watching film against all these different teams and coming up with great game plans, I'm not that dude. I get it. But from a player, coach, someone who watches the game from from, from a from like a feel, like I like I'm I'm watching it from a sense of like feeling the game, we're not maximizing it. And Coach Beamer does not have a real good poker face. If there's one thing I know about Coach Beamer, he's tr- he is honest. He is honest. And when he gets questions about that situation, it, it, th- th- there's a there's a different there's different facial expressions that come up. There's a there's a scrunch in the there's a scrunch in the forehead. There's a there's a, <laughs> there's something that's just not right. When those questions come up, this comes from Chair Force Cock. Chair Force Cock. They asked a couple, but I will just use one. In your opinion, which of the two made Spurrier more successful with his offense as your coach, the players or his plays? We had really good players, but I, Coach Spurrier, Coach Spurrier had had that. It's that element. In my opinion, I think that we're missing. He f- he didn't always call plays off of analysis. He 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 called plays off of okay, the defensive line they're they're huffing and puffing right now. Or the the the, the safety's out of he's on he's out of he's out of position or he he called plays off of feel. Like he, he he really felt the game a, a a good bit, you know. I mean, you you look back at his days at Florida. He he was using high tempo before anybody was anybody even thought of high tempo. Like when it came to because he knew the speed that he had, and he would use like I think that's a hallmark of his whole career. It's just his ability to feel his players and feel the defense. Like he was. He was, he he, pretty much was could have been on the field with us the way he saw the game. Um, both, we had good players, but man, he 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 put us in great positions. I will never forget what Co- Coach Ellis Johnson told me about Coach Spurrier, who was his defensive coordinator from two thousand seven to two thousand. Uh, at least five years at Carolina. He said, Coach Spurrier is the best at putting his best players, figuring out a way to put his best players on the defense's worst players. That, that, that's what, that, that's something I'll never forget, get Coach John. And it, and it, and it's so true. It's so true. Now, there's a famous picture of Alshon Jeffrey you know, jumping over Drake or Patrick at, at Alabama, which was not their worst player, but Alshon could do that against watch. anybody. I, I can against anybody. So 
Mm. 